What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing coming back at you with another video. And today I'm gonna do my eight, eight month, wow, I've had it that long, eight month review of the Polyp Labs Coral View Lens Smartphone and Tablet V2. Now I've had this ever since I started filming on the channel, I decided to get it just because I wanted to have a lens that would kind of filter out all of the blue. And you know, I've had it for eight months and I've kind of know it pretty well. So I figured now is a good time to do a review. Originally when I got this, I wanted the original version, not the V2. When I ordered it on Amazon, they gave me the original version even though I wanted the V2. The reason why I wanted the V2, or not the V2, the original version, was because it came with two different lenses. One was orange and one was yellow. And this would help filter out the light a little bit better and you can kind of pick and choose. Because based off of how you're running your tank, if you run it more on the white side like me, you'd want more of the yellow lens. If you run it more on the blue side, you want more of the orange lens. So what they did with the V2 is they combined the two lenses into just one single lens. So when you get this, you get one single lens and you get a macro lens. So I'll open it up. You can see I've kind of used it a lot. And inside the box, you get your V2 lens right here. So, Pop Labs V2 plus CPL. And then you get, obviously, the clip that goes to your phone or tablet. You get a little protective cover. And you also get one of these little shams. But, you know, I've had, like, 20 of these over the course of my life, so I didn't even open that one. And you get your macro lens right here. There we go, perfect. And I gotta say, for the price, it's all right. I spent about $30 on it, and you know, I was, I was kinda happy with my purchase at the time. Um, I think I could get some better um, video quality with better lenses, which is why I'm doing a review on this now because I'm gonna be upgrading it. So even though I spent 30 bucks on it, it's a nice introductory lens. You do have the macro lens, you do have the V2 lens, which is a blend of the yellow and orange and the CPL, which stands for circular polarizer linear. It's, it's a camera terminology, so pretty much you don't get as much glare on it. However, I will say if you look at, oh look, you can see it in the background. If you look at my cameras, you notice that there are two cameras and a little flash. Now this, at the time of this manufacturing, you see there's three holes, it fits mine perfectly. Now, if you were to get this V2, and I looked and I don't think they have an upgraded configuration here yet, you wouldn't be able to use this with any of the new iPhones, like the iPhone 11 or the new uh, Samsung Galaxy Notes that are coming out where they have like three and four cameras. I guess there's like a camera war going on in your self cellular providers who are making these phones. I mean, it's crazy. But if you did use this, you'd have to kind of like cut this out or you're gonna have um, some of your cameras covered up, which you only really need. I only use like one camera. Well, actually I do use both cameras to get that super wide angle. Um, but um, I'm gonna show you some pictures with the lens on and without the lens on. And I'll also throw up some pictures with the macro and without the macro. And you can kind of see the differences in the different lenses and what they do. So the first clip coming up is going to be just the Samsung Galaxy S10e with no filter on. So as you can see, it's gonna be heavy with the blue. So there's tons of blue light. You can see a glare from the window behind me even though the blinds are closed and that's really kind of affecting the overall quality of the picture. Now the next picture is going to be the V2 lens. And this is just the V2 lens on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and nothing else, no zoom or anything. It's just a normal standard shot. And you can see there is less glare and it's kind of like got a yellow hue to it. Now, I don't like how the reflection is. When I put on the macro lens for the V2, it does get significantly better. And there's a couple shots here. Now with the macro lens, you cannot um, zoom in because it's going to distort the picture quite a bit. But overall, the macro lens is pretty solid and I can't complain if you want to get those up close shots, even though there is a little bit of a, a yellow wash on it. Uh, 
So as you can see, it does do a pretty good job of filtering out some of that um, blue light and makes the corals pop a little bit better. But if you can look at the pictures, there's this hue of yellow that goes kind of over it because it is in the orange um, lens trying to filter it out. If I had it more in the yellow lens, it would not look this yellow because yellow would kind of um, mute the yellowness surprisingly because orange is more dark so you get more of those yellow tones coming through because of how it's filtering the light out but it's not too bad overall it's a good starter starter lens um i probably wouldn't buy it again i'm going to start experimenting with um another brand which i'll be doing a review on that pretty soon once i put in the order for it i'm kind of trying to upgrade everything for the channel as you can tell the audio is probably kind of sounding a little bit better i got a lapel mic when i'm filming this so hopefully you guys will appreciate the upgraded audio and video quality of this um, but as far as the polyp lab uh, v2 coral lens viewer it's okay is the greatest definitely not kind of um, not really liking how distorted the view of this gets especially when i go into a wide angle so let me pop it up to a wide angle and you can kind of see a reflection back into the lens so if you're looking at this in a wide angle right now you're probably seeing that there's a black side on this which means i didn't get the lens all the way over it's a very tight fit and you can probably see that there's a little reflection in the bottom right down here that is from the the little flash uh light bulb in here so let's see if i can adjust that yep so nope 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 ah that's better okay so even with it perfectly adjusted you can still see that it's reflecting back the little white flash bulb down there which is why i never do these wide angle views of my tank which i really love doing these wide angle views of my tank because if i were to flip it and go really far away you catch everything else in the background oh what am i gonna do with it uh, i don't know hopefully if i try i'm gonna try a couple of different uh brands and manufacturers and see if that's a problem but I don't know if it's going to be a problem in the other ones. I can only tell you that it is kind of a problem if you do like to film wide angle with the V2 using the Samsung Galaxy S10. But that is about all that I have to say on this. Huh, check it out. I never noticed this because I've never filmed it without the tank there. If you're looking at the wall, you can see the three rings from the cameras so you got the one camera up here which is the normal camera you got the wide angle lens and you got the little flash bulb there very interesting never noticed that before so coral view lens from polyp lab version 2 is it for you well it depends if you run a bluer tank i would say yes but if you're like me and run more of a wider tank and then it goes to blue at night so you would limit your filming and picture taking to the end of the day, well, probably not gonna be the best for you. Especially if you have a phone that's got more than um, two cameras, because again, you only got three little holes here. Um, probably not gonna be for you unless you want to cut it out with like a rotary tool or something. So if you have one of those phones, like the new Galaxy Notes, or the iPhone 11 with more cameras, you can't even use this product unless you modify it, so I'd probably skip it. Now, there are other products out on the market. I would say the Smartphone Coral Lens Kit from Orphic, good one. And then the one I'm going to be trying is the Reefing Art Coral Lens uh, Professional Photography Kit, because it's got six lenses. I kind of like more variety, and with my changing lighting throughout the day, I really want more than just one lens. I don't think one lens is up to snuff um, just for me and my personal tastes. And putting this on a cell phone case, I have to take my cell phone case off. And if I do some fish store tours and everything, I don't really feel comfortable with my phone being off uh, out of a case because, you know, we spend hundreds of, I mean, thousand dollars for your phone. Kind of want to protect it. Um, so that being said, if you have an older model of a phone, if you run a bluer tank, buy it, it's 30 bucks, 
or you could just choose to skip it and get the Reefing Art Coral Lens Pro Kit or the Orphic Kit. And the Orphic Kit's actually a little bit cheaper at the time. And the Coral Lens or Reefing Art Coral Lens Kit is about the same price. So if you want more variety, go for a different product. If you just want something simple, like I wanted at first, go for this. But if you know you're gonna upgrade in the future, like I am right now, I probably skip it and save you 30 bucks in the long run. So will I be using this kit in the future? Probably until my new one comes in, then I'll do a review on that one. But I will give you my honest review since I pay for all these products myself and I am not sponsored at all, even though I wish I was because this hobby gets expensive. But I will see you guys next time. And as soon as I end the video, I am now gonna be on baby duty because he is awake again. Well, all right. See you guys later. All right, guys, this has been Mike with Shadow Reefing. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Don't forget to comment below and let me know how you like the content. As always, I'll see you next time.